Hey guys, Marco here from Aviero Live CS. Welcome back to the channel. Today we will continue reviewing flight instruments and displays for the Boeing 737-800. And we are going to talk about altitude indications and vertical speed indications. Let's start. Okay, great guys. So we'll go to the Captain Outboard display and let's have a look what we have for the altitude indications there. Here we have what the FCOM2 says about what we have in the altitude indications. Let's start with number one, is the selected altitude box, which is magenta. Indicates the altitude set in the MCP altitude window. When the selected altitude is off scale, like it is right now, the box is parked at the top or bottom of the tape with only one half the box visible. Number two is a metric digital readout. This plays current altitude in meters when meters is selected on the IFIS control panel. So let's see how we select that. We have the IFIS control panel. If we select meters, we are going to see the metric digital readout right here. And since we are talking about meters, we can go to number four. And here we can see the metric selected altitude readout displays MCP altitude in meters when meters is selected on the IFIS control panel. Number three is the current altitude. We can see it here. Displays current altitude in increments of thousands, hundreds, and 20 feet. For positive values of altitude below 10,000 feet, a green cross hatch, the symbol is displayed. A negative sign appears when altitude below zero feet is displayed. Readout box becomes bold to denote altitude acquisition. Readout box is highlighted in amber and flashes to denote altitude deviation. Number five is the selected altitude, which is magenta. This plays the altitude set in the MCP altitude window. The selected altitude box appears in white during an altitude alert. Now, if we talk about barometric indications, you can see number one is the barometric setting, which is green, indicates the barometric setting in either inches of mercury or hectopascals as selected on the IFIS control panel. So if we come to the IFIS control panel, we can select here inches or hectopascals. In this case, we have selected hectopascals. If we want to select inches, we just turn the knob to the left and you can see it goes to inches. Let's go back to the hectopascals here. Number two is a pre-selected barometric setting. A standard is displayed when the barometric standard switch is selected on the AFIS control panel. So if I press here, we'll see a standard. If I press again, I'll go back to the hectopascals we had selected. When a standard is displayed, a barometric setting can be pre-selected on the IFIS control panel barometric selector and is displayed in a small white characters below a standard. Let's say we have a standard and we want to pre-select an altimeter setting. We just turn the small knob and you will see it in white. Now we will see what we have for the vertical speed indications. The vertical speed indication displays other instantaneous vertical speed. Number one is the vertical speed pointer, which is white, indicates current vertical speed. Number two is the selected vertical speed box, which is magenta, indicates the speed selected in the MCP vertical speed window with vertical speed pitch mode engaged. Number three is the vertical speed, which is white. Displays vertical speed when greater than 400 feet per minute. The display is located above the vertical speed indication when climbing and below when descending. Number four is the TICAS vertical speed tape, which is red. Tape turns red to indicate vertical speed values to avoid or exit during a TICAS resolution advisory. Vertical speed pointer is red. 
if it is within the vertical speed tape range. Supplement TICA's resolution advisory pitch commands on the attitude indication. Okay guys, with the vertical speed indications, we finished today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now. And don't forget to hit that bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. If you think these videos could be useful for somebody else, please share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. Next, we will continue talking about fly instruments and displays. Until then, guys, please take care and hope to see you soon.